The Three Stages of Scorpio Every zodiac sign has three evolutionary stages. We all start off as the first stage of the sign's evolution, and these basic forms are representative of all the twelve signs. For example, the crab for Cancer, the scorpion for Scorpio, the fish for Pisces. But there are two more forms to each sign, and these forms are the ones which are less known. For Scorpio, these three forms are the scorpion, eagle, and phoenix. Scorpion. This is their first stage. In this form, Scorpios are in fight-or-flight mode. They feel that their survival is threatened by everyone and everything. They need the struggle in this form, as they thrive in chaos and learn from it. People would think that Ares is drawn to constant battles and conflict. Alas, no. Ares is too simple and straightforward for that way of living. This is Scorpio's battleground, and they fare quite well in this realm. It's no wonder that Mars is exalted in Scorpio. Scorpios have a knack for winning battles and for planning their moves like in a 3D chess game. They hurt a lot of people in this form and stage of evolution. Scorpios are not for the light-hearted when they're in this format. They need to know everything and to own all of the players in the game in order for them to feel safe and secure to operate when they're in this stage. This is why they come off as possessive, obsessive, and stalkery. They sometimes have to be 10 steps in front of everyone in order for them to be able to relax, even a little bit. Eagle. In their second stage, Scorpios learn how to get off the heated sand and soar into the sky. From the heavens, they have a better overview of the entire battleground called life and they can observe its players with more accuracy and freedom. However, the eagle's perspective offers more than a simple war advantage. In this stage, Scorpios learn that there's more to life than just conflict and power struggle. They gain valuable insights and broaden their minds. Being able to see things from a bird's eye view gives the ability to observe things objectively. In this stage, Scorpios learn how to loosen up, how to give up trust issues, and how to surrender. This is an immensely valuable stage for them. They are in the process of purification and deification. They are letting go of their own fears that held them back in life. Their paranoia is left behind in the ashes and exchanged for courage. They are becoming something else, something more, something majestic. Phoenix. In this stage, Scorpios finish their transformation. Their previous pain, fears, and tears are all burned away and left in the ashes. They have become a new being, and something far greater than anything they ever anticipated or imagined. The last stage, the Phoenix stage, is when Scorpios come to embody otherworldly wisdom, enhance their psychic abilities, learn how to recognize toxic patterns and programs within their psyche, and how to let go of it all, peacefully and calmly, without the need for conflict, whether internally or externally. In this stage, Scorpios are known as wise men or wise women. They are the spiritual leaders of their tribe, and others go to them when they need guidance, healing, and shelter. This is their most glorified stage in which they've overcome their mere human form and have become demigods. Scorpios are one of the most powerful beings when they turn into phoenixes. Their abilities are tenfold strong, their senses heightened, and their intuition is so sharp they can cut an apple with it. It's in this stage that they unlock the power of forgiveness. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to get all the updates.